can't take off my shoes. Hold on. Oh, shoes. Got my feet out, because they're ready to move. And the thing about not wearing shoes when we do yoga is because that's super great for learning how to balance. Shoes are great and they are necessary. And when you go into a store, when you go to school, you gotta wear shoes. When you do yoga, no shoes. And it's way more fun because bare feet make me happy. Sometimes I like to stick them in the grass. Okay, so you're sitting and you're crossing your legs, easy pose, crisscross yoga sauce. You're very comfortable. Your belly is in. Your back, your spine is very tall, and I am so happy you are here this morning. It's always better when you're here. So, first we say hello. Hi, my name is Miss Britt. What's your name? Do you practice saying your name out loud? Your name is very important and it's very wonderful. Hi, my name is Miss Britt. At yoga today, I would like to be a elephant. So I like to say my name and I like to choose what animal I want to be today. And I can be a different animal every day because I have an imagination and so do you. And you also have a body. So could we check our body? Could you do a little body check for me? If you have a head, touch your head. Make sure you brought your head. tap a -roo, tap a -roo. And if you have ears, touch your ears, wiggle them. Make sure you bring them, turn them on. Lots of listening going on. Can you touch your forehead? Interesting. Can you touch your cheeks? Ooh, could you give them a little tap? What are cheeks? Well, oh, those are nice. Can you touch your nose? Can you make air come in? Air go out your mouth? Oh, good, that's all working. Tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders. Move them up and down, up and down. How fast can you go? How fast can you go? I bet Blessing has the fastest shoulders in the world. Wait, if you're super tricky, do one and then the other and then one and then the other. Can you move them without moving them together? It's kind of tricky to do. Can you move them forward? Can you move them backwards? Whoa, oh, that feels nice. Do you have a neck? Can you say yes, please? Can you say no, thank you? Can you touch your elbows and turn them on by giving them a bend and make sure elbows are working forward and elbows are working to the side? Can you show me your muscles? Ooh, nice muscles. Do you do the monkey bars on the playground? Show me them upside down. Nice muscles. Can you touch your belly? Can you turn it on? Can you rub it and know that all your power comes from your belly? Oh my gosh, pretend that there is a big shiny sun inside your belly and give it a rub. Ooh, nice. Now tap your knees, gentle to our knees. We're always kind to knees. They're very finicky things. And could you pick up your foot and show it to me? Do you have a foot? Does it have toes on it? Oh, good. Can you rock your baby? Rock that baby. Rock and rock and rock that baby. Very gentle to your baby. Very quiet to your baby. Shh. Oh, maybe sing your baby a little song. Go to sleep, little foot baby. It's time for your nap -a -roo. Oh, put that baby down. All right. If you're like my friend Vea, you got twins, so you pick up that other foot baby. Oh, shh. Oh, very, very quiet to our foot baby as we rock them to sleep. Baby, you gotta go to sleep. We gotta do yoga because we're big kids and you're just a little baby. Shh. Oh, good, put that foot baby down. Oh, good, put your two hands up, show me your hands, and then wiggle all your fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Put your hands together and rub them together. Rub them very fast and see if your hands get warmer. Are they warmer? You can make energy with your body. You can make energy by moving your body. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am ready. Me too, let's stand up. You know what to do. All right, here we go. It's time. Oh, here we go again, Miss Britt with no head. You know, one day I'm gonna figure this out. It might not be today, but that doesn't matter. All right. So stand up tall like a nice tall mountain. Oh my gosh. Come on, Miss Britt. Get yourself together. You need a head for yoga. Everyone knows that you need to bring your head to yoga. It's where I keep all my brains. That's why I'm so very, very smart. All right. Maybe if I lift it up higher. Hold on, I gotta move all the tools and the nail gun. Okay. Oh, this is it. This is the stuff, my friends. We're at the right height. We're ready. 
Okay. Good enough. We're going to say hello to the sun. So can you bring your toes and heels together like a nice tall mountain? Perfect. Thank you for being patient while I figured that out. I love that you're such a patient kid. Now, when I say something, you could repeat after me, right? Of course you can. You're very, very smart. So I'll say hello, sun. Clap, clap, clap. Hello, earth. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three, four. Lower your belly down to the floor. Lift your heart up high. So make sure your legs are together because you're a snake. Your belly's in the sky and you're going to hiss like a snake and have a quick snake party. Ready? Push your paws into the floor. Lift up your tail. Shake it some more. Bend your knees. Jump forward, please. Deep breath in. Peace within. Nailed it. All right, one more time. You ready? Stand up tall like a nice tall mountain with your toes and heels together and say, hello, sun. Clap, clap, clap. Hello, earth. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three, four. Lower your belly down to the floor. Lift your heart up high. Oh yeah, then we'll have a little snake party. Push your paws into the floor. Lift up your tail. Shake it some more, bend your knees. Jump forward, please. Deep breath in, peace within. Yeah, you guys rock. Can you give yourself a round of applause? Maybe a pat on your back. Two thumbs up. Shall we move on? Of course we shall. We always go forward, can't go back. We're not going that way. All right, friends. So right now we've been staying at home and that's great. You are doing a great job staying at home. You're keeping everyone safe, but that doesn't mean we can't travel in our imagination. Do you have an imagination? Can you pretend things? Okay, so we can pretend to go places. So I thought we would go around the world this morning, check out a couple of new places, use our imagination to pretend we are somewhere that is not home. So the first place I wanted to go is somewhere I would love to go. Maybe I will go one day and it's called Africa. You see this, this huge country. Yeah, it's got some very cool animals in it. So let's do it. So could you stand up tall, very, very tall. And then could you put your wings out wide? Oh wait, we didn't even pack our plane. That's crazy. Put your feet apart. We gotta pack this airplane if we're gonna travel. Bend your knees, reach down low, pack your suitcase, throw it in the airplane. Bend your knees, reach down low, get all the band-aids, all the first aid and throw it in the airplane. Bend your knees, pick up your pets, pick up your cats and your stuffies and throw them in the airplane. And then bend down low and pick up all the snacks and all the Easter candy and throw it in the airplane. Oh my gosh, you have too much candy. The airplane's full, let's go. Toes and heels together, arms out straight. Take one step forward. It's time to fly. We're leaving home and we're going on an adventure. If I get the wigglies, that means my muscles are learning and I'll try again. Toe down, try again, toe down, try again. Take a step back, check out what that other leg feels like. Whoa, balancing is tricky. <gasps> Turbulence, <gasps> Turbulence. Maybe I'll put my foot down and I'll try again. There's no reason to crash. I'm just figuring out how to do this with my muscles in my legs. Come back down. We're here. We made it to Africa. I am very excited because we're going to do something that is a favorite of my friend Nikolai because I see cheetahs everywhere and we need to do cheetah feet. So this is what will happen. You will not run forward and you will not run backwards. You will run in one place and see how fast you can move your feet when Miss Britt says one, two, three, cheetah feet. Okay, so ready? So you got your feet together. You're very ready to be fast. And I'll say one, two, three, and we'll go cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, and freeze. Are you freezing? 
One, two, three, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, freeze. Did you freeze? Try it again. Cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, and freeze. Oh, you're good. All right, last time. Fastest time. One, two, three, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, cheetah feet, keep going. Move your feet faster. Can you move your feet faster? Can you keep going? How fast can you move these feet? How far can you run? How fast can you go? How far can you run? This is crazy faster. Man, that was amazing. Can you sit down? Oh, can you put your legs out long? And can you play your legs like a drum? Because I love to go to Africa because there's African drumming. Like my friend Tara always teaches me, drumming and dancing is fun. Can you pat those legs and wake them up? Can you bounce those knees while you drum? And drum and drum and drum and it doesn't matter. If your music is good or bad, there's no such thing. This is just called fun. Phew. We gotta keep traveling. Let's see. Where should we go next? Oh, all right. Let's go. Europe. Hmm. That's an interesting place. So we'll go to France. Okay, can you say bonjour? That means hello in French. Okay, let's go to France. That sounds terrifically fun. All right, well, I'm in France and I see the Eiffel Tower. So can you put your legs out wide? Can you turn your foot? Put your arms out straight. And then bring one hand to one foot and one up to the sky. And we're in triangle pose right now. But you know what we also look like? the Eiffel Tower. And it's amazing because I'm the biggest, most beautiful, most well-known triangle in the world. Oh, that might not be true. What about the pyramids? Are those triangles or are they pyramids? I don't know. You'll have to teach me. This is why I need you guys here with me. I need you to teach me things. Bring out that other foot. One hand down, one hand up. Now the outline of my body makes a triangle. Man, Beautiful. I like being in France, but you know what? England is pretty close. And you know how Miss Brett feels about England. You know that's where her Nana is from, so it's her favorite. And when I got to England, I saw these very tall soldiers. So could you stand up in mountain pose like a very tall soldier? And can you be very still? Very still. British soldiers, do not move. Be very still. Now, do you think you can march like a soldier? Could you lift your knees up high? March and march and march and march and march. March and march. Stand at attention. Nice job, soldier. But you know what I would like to do with my Nana? I would like to be, I would like to drink tea. So let's be a little teapot. Are you guys ready for this? Have you ever heard this before? I'm a little teapot. Okay, ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Is that right? It's been a long time. But man, it's fun to drink tea, but I have to keep traveling. Where should we go? We've been to Africa. We've been to Europe. They're very nice places. Maybe I'll even go again sometime. <gasps> I know where to go. Are you ready for this? We're going to go to India. So you guys got to know this. India is where yoga comes from. And I love India. It's very beautiful. And in India, they love to take care of animals like we do. We all like to take care of animals. So let's take care of elephants. They think elephants are the best. So can you bring your feet out wide? Can you put your hands together? And can you dip your elephant trunk in the river and take a drink? Drink, drink, drink. Oh, can you spray your friends? Oh, take a drink. Drink, 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 drink. Can you spray your friends? Oh, that's nice. You know who else we like in India is camels. So can you come onto your knees? Can you bring your hands on your back? 
Look at Miss Britt's hands. So your hands are on your back and your knees are below your hips. And to be a camel, all you have to do is push your hips forward, your belly forward, there's your humps, and then drop your head back. Now right here, you stay just like that. If your body feels good, maybe you could reach for your heels and hold on and lift your chest up high. Careful coming out. That is a huge compression and stretch of your spine, so you're going to move very slowly. Nice job. We gotta keep going though. You know, we have so many places to go. I love India, I'll be back. But I gotta go somewhere else. Do you see this? Have you ever heard of this place? Canada? Well, I see a lot of things I like in that picture. Okay, let's investigate. So one thing I see in this picture is a flag and there's a leaf on that flag. What a great place. Okay, so let's be a flag. Do you remember? Okay, I'll tell you. Arm down, feet out, hand up tall, flag pose. Ooh, are you a beautiful flag? Are you waving in the wind? That's very nice, beautiful flags. Now, if you're the trickiest trickster in America, or if you're my friend Janet, could you barrel roll this for me? Okay, you ready for this? Watch this. I'm gonna go under roll over and do the other side. That was the trickiest thing in America. Woohoo! Oh man, and we're not even in America, we're in Canada. Could you do that? Don't worry, it took me five years to be able to do that. So you have to keep practicing. But you know what I saw on that flag? Was a leaf, like a tree. You know all about tree pose. Kids always know about tree pose. So can you feet together, hands together, foot up, not foot on your knee, foot down low, foot up high, not on my knee, don't push on your knee joints. Arms out wide if you can balance, hands together if you get wiggly, I put my toe down, try again, put my toe down, try again, try the other side, foot low or foot high, maybe my foot's right here at the bottom and I'm just thinking about balancing. Can you lift up your branches if you're tricky? Whoa, is there wind today? Nice job. Hands together, hands out wide. Doesn't matter, listen to your body. Very good. All right, I got one more thing in Canada. Did you see at the bottom of that picture? There are bears. There's lots of woods in Canada and so there are Wonderful places for bears to live. So can you hold on to your big toes if you can? And can you lift your feet out wide and try to balance in bear pose? And if you roll backwards, terrific. Be careful. But that happens. Come back up and try again. Ooh, what do bears say? Are they like, rah? Is that a bear? What does your bear sound like? Rah. Is that a bear? I don't know. Do bears say rah? They growl for sure. Come back down. <sighs> I don't know though. I don't know if I want to find out. Let's get out of here because these bears seem kind of a little cranky. So let's keep moving. Oh, let's go south to somewhere called Brazil. Now, Brazil is a fantastic place. Monkeys, soccer, dancing. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love it there. So use your imagination. Pretend you've made it to the rainforest of Brazil where they speak Portuguese. I know it's very, very cool. Can you bring your feet out wide? Can you bend your knees like you're a monkey living in the rainforest? And can you say, Oh, pick up all the bananas. Wait, climb the vine. No, pick up all the bananas. No, climb the vine. No, pick up all the bananas. 
Ooh. Oh, wait, swing from the trees. Swinging and swinging and I'm swinging. And maybe you're like, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, ah, ah, ah. whoa, nice monkeys. Wow, that was really good. You know what else they like to do? They like to play soccer. Isn't that amazing? Can you stand up tall? Can you step on one foot and pretend to kick a ball? Wait, try again. Look at that imaginary ball. Step forward and kick. Make sure there's nothing in front of you. Could you do it with the other foot? Could you step forward and kick a ball? Whoa, that's amazing. You're really good at soccer. I wonder if you've played on a team. Who knows, maybe you've played at gym class. Maybe you've played at recess. I would love for you to tell me, but I can't stay in Brazil all day as much as I want to. So I'm gonna head from Brazil, I'm gonna head north. And if I go north, I'll get to Mexico. Have you ever heard of Mexico before? I have, I've been to Mexico before. It was amazing, it was so sunny. Could you stand up tall? Could you grab some of this sun and put it in your belly? Ha! Grab some sun, put it in your belly. Ha! Grab more sun, put it in your belly. Ha! Whew, my belly is full of sun. I wonder what I'll do. I know. I just saw something. I saw El Burro. Wait, El Burro? That's Spanish. They speak Spanish in Mexico and El Burro means the donkey. So can you come on to your knees and your hands and can you bring your knee forward and backwards? Knee forward and backwards. But are you ready? Because you know what we have to say. The El Burro says, hee-haw, 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 hee-haw. Whoa. Nice donkeys, could you try the other leg? Are you ready? Hee-haw, 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 hee-haw. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, this donkey is kind of rowdy. Maybe he does some donkey kicks. Are you kicking like this donkey? Maybe he's having a fiesta. That means party in Spanish, and I love fiestas. But wait a minute. There's a lot of water around Mexico, a lot of beaches. La Playa is the beach. So vamos a La Playa, we go to the beach and what did I see? A boat. Are you guys ready for this? I hope you're ready. It's time. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight if you please. Nice boat, right? Stay right here, this is a great boat or Lift up your feet and we'll sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wow, nice rowing, everyone. Wait a minute, what did you just say? Were you talking about waves? I know you are, you're always like, Miss Britt, there's waves in the ocean. I'm like, I know, but first we gotta do a safety check. So could you look behind you and make sure there's nothing behind you? No babies, no Legos, no toys, lots of space to roll backwards. You're safe? Thank you for checking. Now, could you put your feet flat and bend your knees? Arms out straight, if you please. And we'll say, row, row, row your boat gently down the wave. Oh no, can you roll backwards? Can you come back up and balance? Whoa, that's really tricky to do. To roll backwards into the ocean and then to come back up and balance. You think we could try it again? You'll probably get better if we try it again. That's how it works. All right, let's do it. Feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight if you please. And we'll say row, row, row your boat gently down the wave. Whoa, oh my gosh. Whoa, I wonder what you guys saw in the ocean. I bet Steven and Paisley saw so many mermaids and sharks. Okay, last time, very bestest time. 
feet flat, bend your knees, arms out straight, if you please, and we'll sing, row, row, row your boat, gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a way. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. But you know what I saw when I was in the water? I was looking around the water with my imagination and I saw a shark. Don't worry, he was very friendly. Can you lie on your belly? Can you bring your arms behind you and hold your hands together? And can you keep your legs together and lift up like this into shark pose? And maybe you say, dun 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 Oh, hey, I'm an ice shark though. Come down slow. Oh, whoa. Mexico, it's been fun, but we need to say adios, which means goodbye in Spanish. Because we've been traveling around the world and I love that. But I was kind of thinking since you guys were so good at using your imagination, maybe we could travel somewhere out of this world. Have you ever heard of this place? Do any of my readers know this word? M-O-O-N. You're right. We could go to the moon because we can go anywhere with our imagination. There's nothing stopping us. So let's explore the moon. We'll probably have to take a rocket ship. Do you have a rocket ship at home? You don't, you don't have any rocket ships? Okay, well you have your body, right? And you have your mind, your imagination. So your body and your imagination, we'll get there, watch, ready? On our back, feet are flat, come up into bridge pose. See this bridge? Nice bridges, but you know what? This is gonna help us launch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our hips go down and up, down and up, and we're gonna count. But since we're leaving Mexico and heading to the moon, we're gonna count to 10 in Spanish. Are you ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And then what do we do? We blast off. Whoa, could you do that? Could you blast up into a rocket? Okay, ready? Roll backwards, lift your feet up high. Blast off. Maybe you need a little momentum. So maybe you sit up and you roll backwards and you blast off. Well, good news, guys. We just made it to the moon. Oh man, I love the moon. Now, have you ever been to the moon before? Are you a trained astronaut? If so, help us out. This is my first time. I'm looking around the moon, but there's very little gravity. And I'm walking in my spacesuit. Can you walk in your spacesuit? So you'd have to take these big, huge space steps if you're walking in a spacesuit, right? You can't walk regular because you're on the moon. Whoa. I'm on the moon. You know what I see? I see a star. Are you a star? Yeah, you are. Make that star shiny bright. I'm looking at you, Rosie. You better be the biggest, shiniest star in the whole world. And then could you be a shooting star? Could you say, pew? Come back up. Shine bright. Shoot across the sky. Shine bright, shoot across the sky. Pew! And then maybe you could leave one hand here and lift your arm up and be a nice twisted star. Cause we like to be a little twisted. Now, could you bring one hand down and reach up with the other arm? A nice twisty star because we're nice and twisty. Now come back down. Come up tall because it's time to be a half moon. Are you ready for this? Okay, think about your body. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my weight into my foot. I'm gonna reach down and touch the ground, leg out wide, arm to the sky. <sighs> Whoa, 
Does your body look like my body right now? This is tricky to get down here. Point your toe, point your hand, and you're a beautiful half moon. Wait, could we go down on the other side? My weight's in this foot. I bring my hand to the floor. I lift up my foot and my arm to the sky. Now move slowly and think about what you're doing. If this is your first time being a half moon, it's very tricky business. It takes practice and that's why we do this over and over again because we get better and better and better. But you know that. All right, we gotta get back down to earth. Are you ready? You ready to get back down to earth? Or do you like living on the moon? Maybe you're part alien. That makes you very interesting. I'd love to hear all about that. But you know what? We came back down and we landed somewhere and it's very warm. It's very warm and you know, I'm looking around and I'm wondering if this is where my friend Jackson and Emmett and Jude and Liam live. I'm wondering, is it? Oh, guys, we made it to Florida. So not only do Jackson and Emmett and Jude and Liam live in Florida, you know who else lives in Florida? Mickey Mouse, yeah. Mickey Mouse, he lives in Florida. But you know what? I like some creatures in Florida and I like to visit the flamingos. So could you stand on one foot, lift up a leg, bend it out like this. See how your knee is bent? And then could you make some little flamingo wings? Oh, stand tall on that leg. Feel very pink and tall. And then come down, see if you can lift up the other leg. Sometimes this feels a little different, a little tricky. Oh, I like this. Ooh, I like the sunshine. Come back down. Now, you saw in that picture, there are alligators in Florida. Ooh, so are you ready for this? Can you come down low and be an alligator? Is your body long like an alligator? Can you walk forward like an alligator? Can you walk backwards like an alligator? And then maybe you're not an alligator, maybe you're a lizard. So can you bring one foot forward in between your hands? Could you try that? It's very tricky, go slow. And now, could you stick your lizard tongue out in the sun? <laughs> oh, rude lizard, oh my gosh. Come back. See if you can bring the other foot forward. Oh, nice lizard pose. Can you stick out your lizard tongue? Oh, hey, that's very fresh, Mr. Lizard. Now, could you bring your foot back? Can you lift up your bottom to the sky? And can we just have a quick puppy party right here? Because dogs love living everywhere. Can you say, ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, could you lift one leg in the sky? Could you wave to another dog friend with your tail? Oh, hey, dog friends. Oh, could you bring it down? Lift up your tail. Oh, wave to some dog friends with your tail. Hello, nice to see you. Bow wow. Bring it back down. Come up slow. Because guess what? We've made it back to Miss Britt's home. Miss Britt's home is Cape Cod. And we've made it back here. We went around the world. We went to the moon. And then we made it back here. So do you think you could celebrate with me for making it back home? And you know what? I have a lot of at my home by the ocean in Cape Cod. Yeah, a whole bunch of crabs. Are you ready? Can you lift your bottom up? And can you be a crab? Could you crab to the side? Could you crab the other way? Could you crab forward? Could you crab backwards? Could you lift a crab leg to the sky and do a crab dance? Cause you're so happy to be home. Oh, I'm very happy. And wherever you are, I hope you're happy to be home because wherever you live, that's the perfect place for you. Are you dancing like a crab? Are you dancing like a crab? Whoa, that was crazy. Man, you guys are good. Could you cross your legs, sit up tall, Relax your shoulders. 
Can you put your hands together like this? Because no matter where we are on this whole planet, if we all looked up, we could see a beautiful rainbow. So let's make a rainbow. Can you mix some red? Can you mix some orange? Can you mix some yellow? Can you mix some blue? Can you mix some purple? Purple? Gold? <laughs> purple? Gold. That's a new paint tab. Copyright misspread. Purple, indigo, violet, gold, glitter, brown, black, gray, sparkles, magic. Or oh, are you mixing? Now squeeze all the colors together. You're going to have to use your imagination. Squeeze them. Now breathe in and lift up all the colors. Now breathe out and blow out the rainbow. Ready? <gasps> Did you see it? Did you see the colors of the rainbow? Okay, let's try one more time. Ready? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, bananas, ham sandwiches, bologna macaroni. Wait, add whatever you'd like. Doesn't matter. This rainbow is for everyone. Push your hands together. Hands together nice and tight. Get all the colors, all the glitter, all the magic. Take a deep breath in and then let it out. Ready? <sighs> wow. You're like a wizard. Two hands up. Wiggle your fingers. Put them together. Rub them together. Rub, 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 rub. Rub your hands. Rub your hands. Rub them high. Rub them low. Rub them fast. Rub them slow. One hand on my belly. One hand on my heart. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Say, I am kind. Yeah, you are. Two hands up, two hands together. Rub them together. Rub, rub, rub. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am brave. Yeah, you are. Two hands up, two hands together. Last time, best time, rub them together. Rub, rub, rub. One hand on my belly, one hand on my heart. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Say, I am a great kid. I am a great kid. I am a great kid. Say it out loud. Say it proud. Because whatever you believe, you will become. So you don't have to have anyone else tell you what you are. You say what you are. Miss Britt wakes up every morning and says, I am kind. I am creative. I am brave. I am happy. I am helpful. I am funny. I am silly. I say all those things and guess what? All day, that's what I do. I'm kind and funny and silly and weird and I love being Miss Brett. Now, I would love to know what you are. I bet you're pretty wonderful. I think you're very funny. And I hope you share that with me. Now everyone, at the end of yoga, you know what we say. We put our hands together and we say, namaste which means I see that you're awesome and you see that I'm awesome. And when we do things together, we get to make even more awesome. So the light in me honors the light in you. You are a big, shiny, bright light and I love you. Namaste.